Damn, it's been a long time since I've last heard that. What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan, and welcome to some Call of Duty World War II, six years later. For today's video, I'm basically just gonna sit back and relax and see what, well, basically what World War II is like six years later, and if I can find a match or not. But holy crap, man, I forgot how much content that this game has. Because last time I played it was like, I don't know, like a couple years back. Because as you can see right now, I've got a Cold War emblem with a big cross over it. And the one thing that I also forgot about was the headquarters. Like, holy crap. The more I think about it, this really should have been in all of the Call of Duty games that we have now. I do know that I did get this from Destiny when Bungie was with Activision at the time. But comparing to what we have now with Call of Duty, this is like, holy shit! Like, we had the leaderboards here. Well, surprisingly, we had leaderboards. Like, we had the mail as well. The quartermaster with, you know who. Also, Major Howard for different orders. The whole division prestige and the whole general prestige as well. And this is what I miss as well. The 1v1. This was the Gulag before Warzone. <laughs> like, this was bloody <coughs> I didn't really play a lot of World War II when I was younger, but I really do regret that now because you don't get anything like this anymore man quite sad oh crap i remember this easter egg hang on <laughs> Like, we even had the firing range here. Because I know my area is a little bit dead at the moment. I remember when you used to have other people in the community be all together. The only downfall about this game was <clears throat> supply drop. Speaking of... A fucking bazooka? Really? Ooh, a baseball bat. But yeah, thank God supply drops aren't a thing anymore. You can tell that I haven't really played the game a lot as I've only got 2 days and 11 hours played on it. Only roughly over 10,000 kills. Yeah, I I didn't really do a lot in this game when I was younger. And yeah, I was only like third prestige, so I really didn't care about the game like at all. Besides everyone, if you're brand new here and haven't subscribed already, please do so because we're on the road to 350 subscribers at the moment. And if you guys want to support my channel, hey, I can't say why not. Well, like always, let's get into the video. <laughs> Alright, let's see how long it's going to take to find a single match. Holy crap, you're trying to tell me I found a lobby faster on World War 2 compared to Modern Warfare 2. Are you kidding me? I found a lobby in World War 2 in five seconds. Dude, that's insane. Oh, crap. It's Gustav Cannon. That's it. All right, time out. That's it, time out. Guys, let's all calm down, yeah? We're all worked up. Let's all just, like, chill the F out and talk for a second. Honestly, I am shocked that I was able to find a lobby after six years on the Xbox Series X. How? That Aussie rep guy I played with two years ago, he's still playing this? But hey, did you guys play this game back in its prime during 2017? If you have, let me know in the comments. God, playing this game feels very weird, man. I am definitely not used to it. Because I completely forgot there's no FOV on this. But yeah, it just feels weird. Still gets me time to time of... Why didn't I play this Call of Duty back in its prime? But I mean, like, comparing to what we have now, this is like a masterpiece. I think it was also during the time that I didn't have any interest with Boots on the Ground Call of Duty games because we had... Mainly because we had the futuristic Call of Duty games. I was more of a fan playing those compared to what Boots on the Ground Call of Duty games. I'm not saying this is a bad game, because when I was younger playing this, this was a big pile of crap. I remember when everyone used to use the STG and the PPSH. Yeah, that's how old I am. Was that guy a bot? I do sometimes forget that this Call of Duty game is very slow. I'll still give them one positive note. It was cool that we had different orders to unlock supply drops and different variants in the game. Also including of how much content that we had. Like all the submachine guns I haven't unlocked. All the light machine guns. All the snipers. Shotguns. Like I'll give them credit for that. That they did a really good job supporting the game about six months later. Because I remember the days of summer. The different events that they had in the game. It was like this was the most supported Call Call of Duty game in Call of Duty's history. The amount of support that this game had was insane. Like, we'll never get this much support on a game ever again. But it's like what I said earlier. Do I regret not playing this game in its prime? Yes. But you also gotta remember, this was a different time back then. Like, this was during the time when people thought Black Ops 3 was a masterpiece. But it was also a problem as well back then with the whole supply drop problem. Because if you guys didn't play Call of Duty back then, well, I'll, I'll break it up to you. Supply drops were one of the most bullshit things that Call of Duty has done in a long time. They decided to keep all the content behind the supply drop. Like, if you wanted something good in the game, you had to either spend a lot of money to get lucky, because it was a gamble. And I remember people spending countless amounts of money, and it was out of control back then, because they locked all the good stuff behind it, and people weren't able to, well, get what you wanted. And after all the crap that the supply drops got, they decided not to bring it in when Modern Warfare 2019 came out. And we got bundles, and look what's happened now. Like, yeah, put less content in the game, yeah, it's fine. If you 
guys also want me to go back and play the old Call of Duty games as well, besides World War II and Black Ops 4, let me know in the comments as well. Because I'm trying to go with that traditional Call of Duty feeling on the console. So if you guys want me to go back to any other Call of Duty games, let me know. Because for me, it's quite shocking to find lobbies time to time, especially in the Oceana servers. You know, it still gets me that people are still playing this game after six years. Oh, wow, we got map voting. God, who misses that, man? I completely forgot about this game had gold leopard and a gold cheetah. And I also remembered that Chrome was the max camo, I believe, which was a big L. <laughs> Fix that garbage. I still remember back at high school when I used to watch Korean Savage. If you don't know him, what are you doing? I remember when he used to use this gun right here playing hardcore team deathmatch and he was going off with it, man. Like, I remember I wanted to be just like him when I was younger. Like, I legit copied his class setups. Even I played on hardcore because it was much more easier to play. And you also gotta remember, this was during the high school days. I still remember when my mum picked this game up for me. I believe I was in year 10. Because I remember an old friend of mine, Ryan. Me and him were so excited to play this game. And I remember after school, I got picked up by my mum. And she handed me the game. Mate, I was so excited for it. Like, I remember pre-ordering the Pro Edition with my birthday money. And having the, the magazine as well. But it was just a good time back then, which I just miss. Like, I miss the time, like, when you used to pick up the game. And it was like... Ooh, I can't wait, I'm so excited. Because I do remember that this game was the first Call of Duty game to get on release date. Because I was one of those Christmas noobs when I was younger. My mum didn't want to give it to me when the game first came out. So I remember when I got the birthday money, I saved my money up. And I kept saving until I was able to pre-order World War 2 from EB Games. And I got Call of Duty World War 2 as my first Call of Duty game to get on release date. And it was heaven. I played this game for about three months in its life cycle when it first came out. Then after a while, I just didn't really find it really interesting after. So I decided to go back and play Black Ops 3 again for another year. But I did come back to this game time to time, but not as much as I was expecting. Hey, what, what can you really do about it? It was a different time back then. But I am working on a Black Ops 3 video that will be coming very soon as well. So if you guys want to stick around for that, if you guys subscribe and like the video, I'll upload it even earlier. 31 and 7, that's pretty good for me. After not playing the game for almost 6 years. Oh. USS Texas, holy crap, I forgot this map existed. All I know was like in Vanguard, I believe. Uh, it reminds me of my video from 2008. 18. No, don't put it up! Well, as you can tell, uh, I'm only Prestige 2, and I could make many reasons why I wouldn't like this game, but I might, do, I might do that in, like, a new video. But anyway, let's, um, try out I'm sorry! Game. I told you not to put it on. That was a different time, man. Why is it octopus? <laughs> God, all this talking is making my throat sore. I need water. Give me water! Well, like, good old stole. Let's do it! Really? I forgot host migration existed. God, back in the day when host migration used to be a thing. When it used to be someone's internet that was hosting the match. Ah, uh, why can't we go back to the good old days, man? Holy shit! Wow, that actually worked. Why is it that I go back to an old Call of Duty game I played good? I was like, why can't I be like this back in, like, when the game first came out? <laughs> oh, get the Get the fuck out of here! Oh, damn C4. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, that was a good game. Yeah, I'll give that a yawn. Honestly, that was quite fun. Yeah, I really do regret not playing this game back in its prime, but playing the game now, it feels pretty damn good. Still gonna get used to it. I mean, so poor me really playing this game time to time when the game is pretty, well, almost dead. Still surprising, you can still find lobbies though. That's gonna be the video for today, guys. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do so because we're on the road to 350 subscribers at the moment. If you guys want me to go and play the old Call of Duty games, let me know in the comments as well. We still got a few more videos coming out as well. We've got a Black Ops 3 video, we've got a GTA Vice City video, and we also got a Switch sports video coming. So if you guys want to watch that, hey, I can only say why not. So at least more videos will be coming. But besides that, everyone, my name's Jonathan. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. And like what I always say on every video, be mentally positive because there's always the positive side of life. Besides that, everyone, I'll see you guys later. <sighs> I just don't make Koji like this anymore, man. Like, come on. <laughs>